एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो माय नेम इज संजय प्रकाश एंड आई एम ए माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्टिफाइड ट्रेनर एंड ए माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एमवीपी इन बिजनेस एप्लीकेशंस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट हाउ वी कैन डिजाइन रेस्पोंसिव कस्टम पेजेस इन पावर एप्स और इन मॉडल ड्रिवन एप्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो इफ यू गो टू माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव सीन आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिकॉर्डेड दिस वन हाउ टू ओपन दिस कस्टम पेज ऑन कमांड बटन क्लिक यू सी हियर व्हेनेवर यू select some records and click on this button i am opening a custom page isn't it so this tutorial how i have done this passing parameter from model driven app to uh, to custom page i have already recorded here you can watch that so uh, the problem here is that in this video i want to show you responsive things for example this custom page i have created last time right in last video but if you see this is the large screen that's why there is no issue but if you change the device for example if i will just use f12 so that i can check the responsiveness of my uh, website right uh, you see this this is the small screen and when it is large screen and i'm just changing the width of the width of this device you see the text of this uh, paragraph is cut out right and also uh, if you make it more smaller you see the um, ownership type drop down and description is also hidden some part of this hidden because it is not responsive we have not made this responsive and also the button is hidden that means if you also change this to let's say iphone se you will see the custom page will look like this which is very odd right so we should design in current age of you know web development trend we have to design everything responsive so that it will fit to all devices that you are using now we will change so i will tell you how i can change this custom page to be responsive to all the pages in this video right so i will straight go to the custom page in my last video i have shown you details about this custom page you can go through then you can come back to this video so that you can got more idea you can get more idea here i can go to the apps section preview section and here i have taken a screen one where i have designed the non responsive screen right custom page there is a concept called as containers which is most important to make your custom page responsive so let us see how i can design this non responsive non responsive custom page to a responsive custom page so that it will fit in all devices before that you have to understand you have to analyze the screen first to to make it responsive for example let me tell you one thing let me take the screenshot to show you so this is my uh custom page right in this page you understand first to make it responsive you have to first define which components are aligned with whom and how it is aligned whether it is horizontal or it is uh vertically aligned you see these things these lines this is one line one component this is second component this is that uh, drop down combo box this is a label and this is another text box this is a caption right this is a check box right and this is a update button everything are aligned vertically isn't it right every component are uh, aligned vertically that means you should have some container here at this place which will be vertically aligned uh, which will um, align all the components that you are adding vertically right like that here also you see if you take this right side control this is also vertically aligned <coughs> this is one component <coughs> and this is another gallery component right so this is also vertically aligned but this two the outer uh, circle outer uh, rectangle this both rectangle are aligned horizontally isn't it right so 
this is uh, placed in the first column of the horizontal and this is second column so what you need to do you need to take a container horizontal container first then inside that you need to do you need to have two uh, vertical container like that below we have one container with vertical container because all the uh, sections are or com components are vertically aligned here so this will be a vertical container so one container and another outer container so there are two outer containers now how these two outer containers this one uh, how this outer containers this one this is one container and this is second container right outer container how these containers are aligned these containers are aligned um, vertically isn't it this is one and this is two this is outer so i can take a global or outer main component main container with vertically aligned so we have to take some con multiple containers one is vertical container outer container this one this is the outer container let me take here so this is the outer container one container and this is the second container and this is the third container and inside second container we have two container fourth container fifth container and inside this second container we have so sorry no containers required so one two three four five five containers are required so before designing any responsive custom page you need to first define this in your brain or in some you know diagram as i have done okay you can use greenshot editor to do this now let us go now i am easy and i'm now i am okay to proceed and design the custom page i'll directly move to the custom page and create a new screen i will create a blank screen and i'll rename this I can rename this or keep it as it is or rename this as let's say uh, home page okay now first of all what I need to do I need to take a outer control outer container isn't it so to outer to add a outer container search here container you will find three options container vertical container horizontal container right so first you can take a container right or you can take directly horizontal container so let me take a container first container by default responsive right because this is a bootstrap concept so when you drag this container first thing you need to do is the x component as 0 and the y component h 0 so that it will start from the corner and the width width should be not static it should be parent dot width so that it will stretch to the available space of the custom page and the height you have to change it to same parent dot height because the container should span with the parent thing right so i can change the uh, name of the container outer container right so this outer container is the global page container now inside this i want a container which will place the two containers vertically right so i will add another container inside this container called as vertically this is one and this is second so vertically container and drop it here right so i can make this container to same way x axis 0 y axis 0 and width parent dot width height parent dot height parent means the container the global container 
and you can rename this if you go here you can rename this second outer second outer uh, vertical container vc you can take right now it is done so first outer uh, container is done next i want two containers this is first container which is horizontal and this is second container which is um, vertical right so let's take one uh, horizontal container first inside this second outer i'll go here go to container and what it is a uh, horizontal container because components will be horizontally placed so horizontal container and drop it here now when you dropped you rename this first horizontal container right now here you will see this container this horizontal container uh, must not span the height of the outer container second outer container right so it should only take the half of this uh, page half of this container so what i will do i will go here in the property and change the flexible height to switch off so that it will uh, define as for the uh, so the height will be uh, uh, automatic right whatever control that is part of this uh, container that will automatically size resized then i want another container vertical container so i'll drag a vertical container into this second outer this is vertical container and drag and drop now it will add in the second uh, second uh, uh, row so i'll go here and rename this again this is second vertical container right now i have created all the containers outer container four containers one two three another container is there uh, this two container is required right one is vertical container another is vertical container inside the first horizontal this is the first horizontal container so i need two containers which are vertically placed so i will drag another container it should be vertical so drag and drop it inside the first horizontal container and this container change the flexible width to off and rename this to first inner horizontal container right and here also i want another um, another container which is vertically placed now i will add another copy and paste inside this right now i can rename this this is the second horizontal container okay so this is one and this is two right so these are placed horizontally right okay now uh, remember one thing do not specify any width or height manually or uh, specifically some um, pixels or like that so do not specify that so i have used everything correctly now i want to place my controls these controls i will copy from my existing screen i can copy this select all and copy this and go to the home screen and select the component select the container and paste when you paste here everything will be placed horizont uh, vertically because the first container inner container is vertically vertical container and you see the uh, when you added this uh, component and uh, when you added these components inside this first container some are hidden why because the first outer container this container horizontal container height we have made 
auto so what i will do i will go to the first horizontal container this is the first horizontal container and set the height height should be let's say minimum height should be or you can let's say use flexible height you see when i have changed flexible height it is taking the flexible height with all the components inside that right like that in the second container i want other things there are some orders changed that's fine i will uh, sort it out but go to second horizontal container and uh, copy the other components these are the components i want to copy and go to the screen and paste it here this will also <coughs> place horizontally <coughs> right <coughs> now in the second container <coughs> i want to <coughs> place all the these things copy this and go to the screen paste it here so everything will be uh, horizontally placed right so if there is some minor changes you have to do otherwise everything is okay now i have copied all the components but still the uh, screen looks odd right so what i will do i will go to the outer container and here i will give a padding in the left padding i want 10 and right padding uh, not this one sorry guys i will go to go to the second outer container and this container i will give a padding the padding is here top top bottom so top i want 10 padding padding will give you some space and the left it will add 10 bottom 10 and right 10 okay so it looks nice uh, somewhat better now in this screen you will see the labels and the buttons are misplaced so what i want to do i want to reorder so first select ownership type below that i want this drop down so i will click this and change this the change the uh, reorder I, I will reorder to move up so that it will go up like that i want the update button to go extremely down so i'll reorder move to bottom so that it will go to bottom like that i can move this checkbox accordingly right now verified it's done now this thing also i want to take down and once more up yes now ownership type description and the message of the verification and the button right now here all components all these components width you have to set edge except the button you have to set edge parent dot width okay so that it will align correctly with the uh, we can do one thing just to parent width minus 10 why minus 10 because we have given uh, 10 edge padding so it will be better uh, look and feel if you deduct 10 from that now here also i want to take the selected company width edge both the component width i want to set parent uh, width minus 10 you can keep it width also there is no issue and i want to take this label up okay now i am done with the first one the next one i want to associate this images top of this label so what i can do i can again reorder this move up And this image also I want to move so 
so the responsive may uh, you know somewhat time consuming but it's okay once you have done it to move up right now here you will see in the first page this looks uh, like you know uh, horizontally placed but here i have uh, done something wrong here that's why i have taken only one vertical container that's why i am not able to uh, short uh, order this to uh, horizontally so you have to take here one more horizontal uh, three horizontal uh, containers so that you can place these things let us take that let me remove this I will take another horizontal container inside this. I will place it here. Okay, this is the horizontal container, and I can drag. Uh, this is one horizontal container, and the height I will change it to flexible height, right? And the height will I will take hundred. because I want to have uh, three containers here right so I can copy and paste here again third and fourth so three horizontal uh, containers I have taken inside the outer container so I will now I can copy this I can first copy this and I can copy the second one also and paste it here right I can move the order change the order to move to start understand this how it is done so like that you have to change accordingly so I will copy this one also the first one I can take the last one now you can I can change the order right there is another thing the gap is very less here right in this container so what I can do I can click this first uh, horizontal container and change the gap to something called as 20 now it will look like this I can also change the padding left padding let's say 10 and right left uh, top padding 10 so it will look like this right and you can uh, set also the alignment vertical alignment I want let's say center so it will display as center now this uh, padding is not required if you place or as uh, if you place it uh, center align right but uh, next thing you have to do the same thing for this I want let's say 20 and center align same for this now it is done now we have successfully created this three and the page is created right now I can test this this will look like this now let us use this uh, page as a custom page that will open from my model driven app now this page is converted to custom page I mean the uh, responsive custom page now let us go and check I will just reorder this to move up so that whenever the custom page will call this page will load fast now I will save this save and publish every time you change anything in the custom page you have to save and publish and publish the current version now it is published you can go to cell shop and publish it so you understand container is the main thing horizontal container vertical container and the container these three things are very important to make your custom page or canvas apps responsive now it is published I can go to here to check press ctrl f5 twice or thrice
once more control F5 now we have designed this successful right let me close this so always uh, create a blueprint before creating responsive design it will give you more confidence so I'll select two records and click on this button again to load the custom page now this is the old page because this is not responsive if you make it smaller it is again breaking right so again once more refresh by pressing ctrl f5 hard refresh otherwise you have to publish again sometimes so i will select this two and i will click update company you see this time now it is loading the responsive one right why it is responsive let us check that if it is responsive or not i will just use f12 to make it responsive you will see if i'll change this you see how it looks like if i'll change it to responsive and change the width you can understand in the large screen it will display like this and i think it is not refreshed correctly right now see if you make it smaller now it is not breaking anything okay oh i have not done this it is still breaking right guys okay this is breaking because of this uh, we have not done here let us go and check that we have taken what is the width of this uh, width of this level let us check that yes as because of this width it is showing error so you will have to change this parent dot width right parent dot width minus you can take uh, something 30 because this space will be taken uh, by the image right so you have to use something in the 50 or it is always a better to take uh, the because if you take the 50 also it will not work properly so let, let me do one thing let me remove this images for now and change the width to parent dot width and for the others also I will change this width Now for all controls you have to change the width edge parent dot width so that it will not break. Now let us save this. If you have mentioned any components width uh, manually or static width then it will cause problem in responsive apps. And here also I have not specified any uh, any uh, any width static width also let me remove this 10 it will also cause problem so parent uh, width taking means it is taking the containers width okay. and every other thing are okay so let me publish this so this thing you have to remember right so if you are planning responsive the width matters a lot now i can go here and publish again
now once it is published let me refresh this by pressing ctrl f5 so again i will refresh by pressing ctrl f5 at least two three times required sometimes now i can check so i can click on this to open the custom page now this is not the latest page let me refresh again I have just removed the images right so I can check this one let I have to again publish sometimes the publish doesn't work fine click publish to publish the current version then you have to publish the model driven app now we are good to go once it is published once it is published you see I can press ctrl f5 again let me check this now see guys it is loading the responsive one now let me test this press f12 to see if it is breaking or not now you see if you make it smaller also it will not break your text it will adjust as per the width of the uh, screen right. okay thanks guys uh, watching uh, well, thanks guys for watching this video i hope you understand how these containers are used and now you can design responsive custom pages according to this uh, concept see you next time bye Thank you.